Welcome to the channel with your friend Bless Row. Southern cooking is the best, that's one thing we all know. Most comforting meals that everyone will love. Join Bless Row, her cooking comes from the good heart. Recipe so good, you just might get hooked. Join now, Bless Row Cooks. Hi everybody, welcome to Bless Row Cooks. Today I am going to be making a scrumptious punch bowl cake. It's a quick, easy recipe, but it's a good, cool, refreshing dessert. Everybody that I serve my punch bowl cake to loves it. Enjoy the recipe. Welcome to the channel with your friend Bless Row. These are the ingredients that I'm using today. I have one angel food cake. I got this from Walmart. I also have some whole strawberries. These were frozen, but now they're defrosted. I have some Cool Whip. I have some cream cheese. I have some strawberry gel for strawberries. I have my flavorings to the side. And I'm also going to be using some sugar, which is not pictured here. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm sprinkling some sugar over my defrosted strawberries. I'm putting one and a half tablespoons on the strawberries. You can buy the strawberries already sliced and sweetened. I do use those. They didn't have any this time. But if you don't want this much sugar on it or if you want more, you can adjust it to your preference. After I finish adding my sugar in my strawberries, I'm going to take a slotted spoon. I'm going to mix them up and I'm going to mash them with the spoon. I'm doing this so they'll be easier to spread and the sugar can get all up in the strawberries. So after I do this, look at this texture. After I finish mashing them, I'm going to add in the strawberry glaze. This is how the strawberry glaze looks. They also have some that comes in a little pack and it's over there by the fruit. I use that one sometimes too, but I really prefer the way that this one tastes over that one. But if you find a strawberry glaze that you prefer, you can use that one. You can also add more strawberries if you want to. I'm gonna sit this to the side and let the flavors marry while I go ahead and make the rest of my mixture. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my Cool Whip in with my cream cheese. The Cool Whip I did take out a little earlier and I put it in the refrigerator so that the texture of it would be soft. I also took the cream cheese out and set it on the counter so that the texture would be soft. After I finish whipping up my Cool Whip and cream cheese, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my cake. And the first thing I do is I start with a layer of the angel food cake on the bottom. I just pull it apart with my hands and I put it on the bottom. And then I put a layer of strawberries and then I put a layer of my cream cheese mixture. Welcome to the channel with your friend Bless Row. Southern cooking is the best, that's one thing we all know. Most Remember that everything I'm using today will be listed in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Cooking comes from the good heart. Recipe so good, you just might get hooked. Join now, let's throw cooks. As you can see, I put a generous amount of the strawberry filling on. That's because we love strawberries and everybody wanted to taste the strawberries. I made sure that you, I got them on the side of the bowl so that you could see them from the outside. And I made sure I had enough covering this cake because we love strawberries. So you can put as much or as little strawberry filling as you want but we love strawberries and everybody loves my punch bowl cake this is my last layer and what i did was got me a small spoon so that i could spread it out so i'm spreading it all over the top and then i'm going to take some strawberries to put on the top to decorate it with i did not have any fresh strawberries but if you have fresh strawberries you can finish it off with some fresh strawberries but what I did is just put the strawberries that I have, some whole 
frozen strawberries, I just put, well, they're not frozen, but they're defrosted. But anyway, I just put those in the middle with a splash of color from my lemon. If I had a piece of mint, I would have put that up there too. But anyway, I just put that out there to make it look really pretty before we dive into it. And here's the finished product. Doesn't it look so delicious? Y'all, we really enjoyed this punch bowl cake as usual. So try this and come back and let me know how your family likes it. If you've made it this far, give me a purple heart in the comments. And also, if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button button i really appreciate you and thank you so much for joining me today have a blessed and beautiful day and remember to put god first in everything that you do turn on your tv screen turn on your phone turn on your laptop we're watching bless roll bless roll show look is what she likes to do Stay here if you like it too. Turn up your cell phone. We watching Bless Roll, Bless Roll Show. Hey, what you watching?